Welcome to this reading. In this reading you can uh, lay down um, or sit or relax. Uh, it's okay to fall asleep. It's okay to stay awake. It's okay to listen. And it's okay to fall out of listening. During the reading, I want you to think about your body and to feel your body. Think about how you feel today, how you're feeling your shoulders, how you're feeling your neck, in your head your knees, just relax. Inspiring moments, despicable mothers, picnic, messiah, mescaline, mislabeling, hydrogen, spirulina, serotonin, enlightenment, nutrition chart, basic needs, nail fungus, compulsive disorder, dishwasher safe, condom, kryptonite, cellulite, Seat belt, probiotic, preventive, dementia, sensory deprivation, sunblock, spelt, silica, eczema, endorphins, opiates, bully, U turn, urine sample, motion sickness, emotional value, Siamese twins, bolt, volume, socket. Sick bed, scar tissue, brain tumor, tracheitis, treatment, throat ache, athlete's foot, fist, facelift, facts of life. Knowing how the film will end before it even starts. When does an individual become a body? When does a body disembody? When this a body does somebody? When does it really, really hurt? Pain is individual, a cut made in the middle. Male thoughts, airmail. Three days later upon arrival, a package, nothing but. Here. He said, here is my ear. It is, and her. What is there to say about her? What did she say herself? She said, nothing. When does an ear stop learning? When does a body stop leaning? When does life leave life? When does love live life? When? Does it feel like time left, or the exact opposite? Pain is a stain on any complexion. Does somebody care about that body, or is that body just somebody? 
What does a body to some bodies? When is a body just a burden? What do birds care? What is that burden for a bird? What do others think? What do others' thoughts think? What body cares about its own or those? Them? Never. Here he said to her, female thoughts. Her ears were present, but they did not listen. Every word, when said with the right tone, can become a piece of poetry. Every crumb can become a piece of cake. Take a newspaper, speak it out loud. The tone will supersede the meaning of the words. The drama will take on another tone. War will be over. Pictures will fade. Down goes the sun. The children sing, cling, clung. Dogs don't care if you call them bastards, as long as you say the word bastard in a soft voice. Soft bastard. They aren't bastards, however. They're just born with a tail. Their noses are soft. Don't judge them. Don't stroke against their hairs. Don't pull their tail. Instead, tell the tale to them and they will listen. They are patient beings. A bite is an opening of a mouth without a resonance. It only marks what has happened in a half-circled moon. Now, the mouth is a flexible orb. Circular words give us circular meanings. But a mouth is a line, and a straight thin line, and a straight thin face of no fun. They say that I sound like my mother on the phone. My mother has a sound which is called... Mother? From a young age, grown-up people would call our phone and expect to have con conversations with me. I listened silently, silently listening until I was expected to reply. It then became clear that I was not a desired listener. My ears were small, but my language even smaller. I still played with circles. Words failed. Some hung up, no one sung a song singing. Your problems might help for some, some melodies hide in ancient songs, ancient songs hide in ancient melodies. Sometimes I can't tell them apart. We need an expert for that. Someone who's an expert in ancientism. I'm not. The tongue is a muscle filled with blood. Its feeling is of that of a feeling, itself is warm. Blood against blood makes my mouth a little warm cave. Ancient home. I know that for an ancient fact, but that's about that. On colder days, I keep it shut for shit. I lose words in winter. In winter, I lose words. I grow here in hidden places. I stay calm. I stay cave. I build new shields out of a small piece of paper and such, which I find in the street. I saw a film the other day. They cut off her tongue from her mouth and threw the tongue away. They then tape her up, and you can see nothing of her face beyond a pair of frightened eyes. In the end, she dies. Sorry for telling you that, but it's a matter of fact. When they empty the garbage, they empty her tongue and all the other bloody matter. It's a truth only the viewers know, but we can't call the police. 
We are limp. We are numb. The phone is off the hook. And all this work for a piece of precious gold which was hidden in her anus. Backwards, Paul is dead and Lop is alive. Limp limbs like a tongue that can't lick, lock, click, tuck. Spoken words, dry lips, fat on a stick, spread it out. I'm done. I'm alive. Goodbye. Whip, knock, or lick something into somewhere, extracting it from its background, creating its boundary, its orientation, its position, its size, its sex. Depending on if it has hair or not, depending on if it is there or not. Shadow-shaped man, and man-shaped shadow. The first visible outline of a human being who was being human picked up a stone and shaped it into a tool. It is very likely that if you can shape a stone, you can shape a sentence. It is very likely that if you can shape a tool, you can sharpen a sentence. It takes two to dialogue. With your back to me, you stand in front of me. Your back towards what my back can see. Your back is back to back with my front. We share a different view, a different view from the other. You see what you see, I see what I see. Observing demands a great deal more than looking and even more than just noticing. Appreciation of what is being seen depends on the experience of the viewer. We see a cloud, but we cannot touch it. We are equally far away from it, although you are in front of me. I take one step forward towards your back, and your back is now close to my front, and continuing like this, the two sides will eventually meet back to front and touch. The question is then, if you then will turn around and your back Backwards will be front to front with me. The question is then if I then will turn around and you'll be front to back with me again. Now I will be in front of you. Now we will once again be sharing a view. Your view, my view, same view, but different. Observing demands accuracy from both parts, but there is always an individual attitude towards what is seen. There is another cloud on this side of the sky, and it is larger than the one that we saw when your back was towards what my back could not see. Still, although we have changed positions, it is equally far away. Neither of us can touch it. Our hands are still too far away. Our 20 fingers sloping down the sides of our bodies at the height of our hips. Rain starts to fall in the same line as our hands. The cloud touches us at equal length. We're now back to back to back, equally wet. Wet equally. Back to back to back now are we. Length equal at us touches cloud. Hands are as lines, same the in fall to start rain. Hips are of height at the bodies are of size. The down sloping fingers twenty hour. Away far too still our hands are. A touch can us of neither. Away far equally is it. Positions change have we, although still. See not could my back what towards was back your when we saw which one, the then larger is it, and sky the offside, side, this on cloud, another is there. Seen is what towards attitude individual always is there. But paths both from accuracy demands observing. Different but views same, 
view my, view your. You a sharing be again once will we now. You of front in be will I now. Again me with back to front be will you and around turn will then I if then is question the. <clears throat> Touch and front to back meet eventually will sides to the this like continuing and front my to closer now is back your and back your towards forward step one take I. Me of front in are you although it from away far equally are we. It touch cannot we, but cloud a sea we. View the experience on depends seen being is what of appreciation. Noticing just more even and looking the more deal, great a demands observing. See I what see I, see you what see you, other sort of view different a, view different a share we, Front my with back to back is back your. See can front my what towards front your. See can back my what towards back your. Me of front in stand you, me to back your with. At first there was nothing, not even something, not even something hidden in the sand. There was no sand, there was no sound. Then there was a word, to be heard. Who spoke the first word is uncertain. What the word was is also not clear. How the voice sounded, nobody knows. Spoken words do not fossilize, ducks do, but only their bones. Many remnants from the past go undiscovered. Only hard, resistant material survives the passing of time. The disappearance of a body can be rapid. Whatever brittleness there is about you, it will vanish with silt or sand when time passing. As one knows, the poor jellyfish is after all nothing but a fleeting soul, never given a solid afterlife. Before a man made hand made man made a chip in the stone, the stone was nothing but a stone in the ground untouched by man. Now the stone is a stone in the hand. Man talks, but in tongues and not in stone. Lick, lock, Rock, tricks in the books, speeches from below, memorized clouds, scented information. Earth shaped man, but even more did man shape man. There is a giant wave in the Amazon River which runs with a great destructive noise. If you ride it, the sound will echo in your drums, although the wave will be long gone. A Mexican woman gets her voice back after years of speaking like a robot. When her batteries ran out, her conversation would be over. Deep inside of her, the doctors excavate her true voice and reinstall it within her vocal cords. She starts speaking and feels like herself again. Finally, she can look in the mirror without feeling attached from herself. A reflection cannot be made, 
until some time has passed. In this reflection, you can see yourself. This reflection requires that you take one step back. Two is one too much. There's only one of you. Another reflection can be made by passing a mirror instead of passing time. This mirror cannot show that time has passed. The mirror does not keep time. Only what now is reflected from the image within your head can reflect that time has passed. This reflection is not seen, but felt. In your head, you have a reflection of what once felt right. Reflections in the water move. What you see is the sky moving, but not the reflection itself. The reflection itself is not there. It is the sky that is there. And the reflection is neither then or later, but now, and nothing but that. Behind the mirror, there is nothing. There is only one you, although you appear as two ones. Twice, at once, twice, there is once last time past. But it is you, reflected. And you exist no more than once, no more than one. No more after this is over. Over and over, beyond the water, there is something. Fish, tar, and more than that. A sort of ground which you can reach if you drown or swim deep. But in between the sky above and the step below, there is a reflection which can never keep. Bending over, you exist on the surface, but not on the depth, and not in the sky. You bend over, and this is now, and not then, and not later. Throw a stone in the water, and it disappears. The reflection also disappears. You're now no longer twice, just once, and you bend your back back. The reflection you now take takes you even further back, 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 but no further than what you've been. Bending so far back, you may fall on another stone. Thus, you can throw this one in the water and break the reflection once more. This cycle is endless. Many a reflection has done the same before you. The sky passes and the water moves. Throw a stone at the mirror and it breaks. Now there is only one you, only one you who takes one step back. It is a step back, but it is a step forward in time. All you can do now standing in front of time, is to reflect in your head upon how it looked when there was a reflection of you in front of you, when you were one step ahead. The reflection in your head on yourself back then is also only a reflection. There's only one you, and you exist not more than once. The one who exists here and now exists in this moment. A reflection can be made on what has been done, a reflection can be made here and now, but you cannot make a reflection upon what is to come. This is then a prediction. You cannot throw a stone at the prediction because we do not know what will happen then. Perhaps it will also disappear. Perhaps you will disappear. And you exist not more than once. Not more than one, no more, after it is over. Taking one step back, one step into the future, falling back on a stone, breaking back. Once upon a time, time passes past vast whiteness, and then there is so suddenly not one, but none of you. Nobody now knows where you now exist between the surface, the depth, and the sky. Nobody now knows, because there is only one you. This cycle is endless.